Y'all remember how Jason Lee tried to blackmail Beyonce and threatened to spill some damaging tea on her if she didn't get Kylie Rowland to come on his show? Her I got the receipts. Know. I still her have the receipts. Know. Yvette, no, I got the receipts. I got them. She needs to know. And I think people like her publicist, who I love, and I'm just being critical. That's just what I do. You know that, Yvette. We're trying to book Kelly Rowland right now. Now, if I don't get Kelly Rowland because I say this about, then then, then, then it's going to be a problem. Then I'm putting out receipts. The receipts I just told you all about, then I'll put those out. Ooh. The fires that will come over there. I ain't worried. I ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you, you no, know, right now. I'm not playing this industry game. Fans have been trying for weeks to figure out what the tea was and why Jason was so hellbent on humiliating her. Well, we might have our answers now because word on the streets is that the tea was about their marriage falling apart. For some context, I'm talking about the time when Jason Lee went on his show and tried to blackmail Beyonce by claiming that he had tea on her and that he had been holding on to that tea for a long time. According to him, the reason he was threatening to spill the tea was that he felt disrespected by Beyonce. He claimed that he felt slighted because Beyonce hadn't invited him to the premiere of her Renaissance movie. Beyonce had invited a bunch of celebrities and influencers to the premiere, and Jason felt like he deserved to be invited too. Child, from the way he sounded so salty, you would think that he and Beyonce were childhood besties or something like that. He then claimed that he deserved to have been invited because he spent more than $40,000 on concert tickets and Renaissance merch for himself, his family, and friends. And Beyonce was dead wrong not to have invited him. Not only that, but he also tried to say that Beyonce is anti-black for not inviting a lot of black influencers to the event. I think optically, when you don't include other black leaders in the culture in the fold, I mean, not just take me out of it. The Breakfast Club, I mean, you should have honored and brought more black. And I spent thousands, of th over $40,000 in tickets and shared the experience with friends. Uh, and I've done a lot, and I'm not even gonna say it here because if I did, this internet, Beyonce's good internet would go crazy. Y'all best believe that man knew what he was doing and to prove that he had the tea on Beyonce, he covered his mouth and spilled the tea to the other two people in the room with him, but he bleeped it out so we wouldn't hear. This part of the show, so you'll never know what it is, but I want you to see their reactions and I'm going to do it right now. Anywho, he then went on to claim that he had receipts to back up his claims and he was going to release it unless Beyonce convinced Kelly Rowland to come on his show and have an interview with him. I got the receipts. Know. I still Her have the receipts. Know. Yvette, no, I got the receipts. I got them. She needs to know. And I think people like her publicist, who I love, and I'm just being critical. That's just what I do. You know that, Yvette, we're trying to book Kelly Rowland right now. Now, if I don't get Kelly Rowland because I say this about, then then, then, then it's going to be a problem. Then I'm putting out receipts. The receipts I just told you about, then I'll put those out. Mm. Whew. The fires that will come over there. I ain't worried. I ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you no, right now, I'm not playing this industry game. Beyonce either slapped our good bro with a gag order or a cease and desist or something like that because we ain't heard her name out his mouth ever since then. And it has been months since that. But even though he has been silent on that, fans have still been wondering what the big secret was because we knew that it had to be something really spicy for him to be bold enough to try to blackmail and threaten the Queen Bee. Well, it looks like we finally have the tea and it all has to do with the recent rumors going around that Beyonce is making moves to divorce Jay-Z. Yeah, I know this is kind of wild because B and Jay-Z have always been like the most solid couple in Hollywood and we thought that they were going to be in game. But that is what the streets have been saying lately. But what is really messy is the circumstances surrounding the divorce. Cause girl, if these rumors are true, this is about to go down as the messiest celeb divorce ever. If y'all think that things were messy during Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's divorce, well, just take a seat. As I said, the issue with Jason Lee died down after a couple of days, but what really had people talking again was when Diddy got sued with all those lawsuits and how he found himself on the outs with a lot of people in the industry, including Jay-Z, who was like his brother from another mother. Well, people recently started digging into Jay-Z's relationship with Diddy, and let's just say that the things that were discovered were just crazy. And according to reports, Beyonce has been blindsided by this because she never saw this coming. According to reports, the same powerful people who took down Diddy are now making moves to take down Jay-Z, and it is not going to be a pretty sight. After the powers that be, the PTB, the industry, whatever you want to call them, once they're done with Diddy, right? And um, this is going to be going on for some time. But once 
I guess you could say the public humiliation, basically after the major documentaries come out, right? After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? Jay-Z, over the course of his career, and I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. If you're wondering what he's about to get exposed for, well, on top of the list is his alleged relationships with women like Foxy Brown, his weird friendship with R. Kelly, even after he knew that R. Kelly behaved inappropriately with a lot of people. I mean, R. Kelly was exposed for faking legal documents to marry Aaliyah, but Jay-Z still stuck with him. For some reason, y'all like to conveniently forget what age Foxy Brown was when he was with her. Um, y'all like to forget that he was rolling with R. Kelly and they was doing a lot of things together. Yeah, I like to forget a lot of that, right? Um, but good PR, good marketing, and the fact that, you know, Jay-Z got a lot of this industry on lock, so he's able to keep a lot of things hush-hush. Oh, and don't even get me started on the rumors of him being involved with Beyonce herself before she turned 18. This kind of explains why Beyonce looked super mad when Jay-Z made a love declaration at the Grammys a couple of weeks ago when he slammed the Grammys for not awarding Beyonce with Album of the Year. And it's opinion-based, but, you know, some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won Album of the Year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won Album of the Year. That doesn't work. You know. Well, insiders are now claiming that this was a last ditch effort by Jay-Z to win Beyonce back and convince her to stay with him. And this is the tea that Jason allegedly had and tried to blackmail Beyonce with it because he wanted to be invited to hang out with her so badly. Someone commented, I had a feeling something was about to go down because this past year, B has done a numerous amount of things she doesn't usually do. Put out an album, then tour, then put out a perfume line, dyed her hair lighter, had a Super Bowl commercial, and put out country music with another album coming in March. All back to back. Yeah, she's racking up to either leave Jay or before her image is tarnished. And the other person said, if it's true that they are divorcing and the reason being because of his ties with Diddy, getting a divorce is not going to change the fact that everybody knew you were married and with Jay-Z for all those years and have children with this man. And let's not forget, she definitely has a lot of bones of her own in that same closet. Anywho, y'all drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.